don't know if this book haul is just going to be embarrassing to film or what, but there's a lot to get through here. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a book haul of epic proportions here. Don't want to talk about how many books I've bought in the last month. It's just embarrassing at this point and we're not going to talk about it. We're just gonna get on into the haul. So I'm not gonna go into synopses of these books because no one wants me to do that for like 25 books. You know, you know. Some of these I have read, so I guess that makes it better. And some of these are secondhand, which also makes it better. But still, there's a lot going on here and we're just gonna get into it. So first I have two books by Talia Hibbard. I have, take a hint, Dingy Brown. <coughs> oh my God, I have something. The only thing I have that's liquid in here is Windex. I'm not gonna drink the Windex yet. Okay, I guess I'll just suffer. Take a hit Danny Brown and Actor Age Eve Brown. I really just wanted to buy this one because I think the cover of this is beautiful. I love the art style for these books and I wish I owned Get a Life Chloe Brown, but I have read that one, if that counts for anything. But I think I'm gonna do like a romance reading vlog type deal sometime throughout the summer, so I'm gonna save these for that video because they would be perfect. The only thing I know about this book is that Chloe, no, this is Danny. <laughs> the only thing I know about this book is that Danny and what's this guy's name, Zephyr, they get into like a fake dating type deal and I love fake dating stories so much. So I was so excited when I heard about that. And this one, I know that Eve and Jacob, it's like a B and B type deal. Like it happens at a bed and breakfast. And the only thing that I can think of when I think of Ben Breakfast is Gilmore Girls. I know that doesn't have anything to do with this book, but I love that show. So maybe it'll give me Gilmore Girl vibes with a, with a romance, you know? Moving on, I have Heartstopper Volume 3. I have read this. I have loved this. I have a reading blog in which I read this coming out soon. It just follows Nick and Charlie. They're going on a class trip to Paris. And that's kind of all that happens. I also know that Volume 4 came out very recently, so I need to pick that up soon. This is The Crowd of Gilded Bones by Jennifer L. Armitrout. I also have a vlog in which I read this. It's the same vlog as the other one. I have a love-hate relationship with this book. Nothing happens, and then everything happens, and it's just a lot. <laughs> well, it's not a lot, and then it's a lot. I still really like the main characters. I love Kieran, he's my absolute favorite, probably the only reason why I keep reading this series, to be honest. If the next book goes anything like this one did, I will probably stop reading the series, to be honest. But this book, it was all right. Next up, shall we go into some YA fantasy? Perhaps, I have a lot. <laughs> Who's shocked? First up, I have the Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I've already read this book. I've already loved this book, but I really wanted it in a hardback because I don't own any of the books in the trilogy. So I decided to just go for it and buy one. But look at the under the dust jacket. How I hope that's like playing with the light nicely. Beautiful. All of the art surrounding this series is beautiful. I love the chapter headings. It's like the little B with the flowers? Can we talk about it? I'm sure we all know what that book is about. It's about elves. Are they elves? Fairies. Why'd I call them elves? <laughs> They're fairies. Next up we have The Beautiful by Renee Audier. This is about vampires in New Orleans, I believe. And honestly, that's all I needed to know about the book before I bought it. Now it's in my house. See how that works? Yeah, I've just heard, honestly, I don't think I've ever heard a bad thing about this book and I'm so excited to get to this very soon. Next up, I'm very late to the trend. I'm aware, it's fine. And I still haven't started reading this and I'm probably not gonna read it anytime soon, to be honest. So this is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. I know the Netflix series just came out and I do wanna read this before I watch it. I just don't know when that's gonna be. So yeah, I'm not gonna go into any of what this is about because I'm so sorry for even shoving this in your face again. Next up, I have City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This is the first book in the Infernal Devices, the Mortal Instruments, the Mortal Instruments, yes. I'm so knowledgeable. I never read these books when I was younger and I just see everyone talk about them. So I found this for five bucks and I was like, I wanna see what the hype's about. So here we go. I hope to get to this sometime over the summer. Just some good YA fantasy vibes. Next up we have Blood and Honey by Shelby Mahern. Was not the biggest fan. Kind of went the same way that The Crown of Gilded Bones did. The first like four fifths of it were 
uneventful. And then the last half got better. So what can you do? Gods and Monsters comes out in late July. I will be picking it up. What's next? Shall we do adult fantasy? That would make sense. First we have Ninth House, another Lee Bardugo. I found this at the thrift store for $2 and I think it's new, which is crazy and that's a deal. And I'm just very excited. Love the end papers, cool snake things or tentacles. Pretty sure they're snakes though. I am not gonna read this very soon. I'll probably save this for like the fall cause it's dark academia. I think it takes place at Yale. So I thought this would be good for like September, October, like that type going back to school vibe. Then we have Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. This is the second book in the Stormlight Archive. I loved The Way of Kings so much. So I immediately bought this and I cannot wait to dive into it. Right now, I'm taking a break from fantasy, but I think this is gonna be the first one I read when I get back into it. I'm so excited to see where this goes. I love this series, I guess. I guess I can't say I love this series until I've read at least like two books in a series. I have a feeling I'm gonna love this series. So yes. Also, can we talk about these paperbacks? Oh my God. They're so floppy. They, A plus for book design. Next up, maybe I'll go into some middle grades. We have Tunnel of Bones by Victoria Schwab. I started this one this morning, actually, so a good 30 pages in. I have it on good authority. It's gonna be great. This one takes place in Paris. Follows our girl Cassidy Blake, saving ghosts, sending them on, something like that. And I'm excited to read some more of it. Next up, I just got this one today, actually, at Half Price Books, and it was only like $4. And I've been wanting to just have this so I can read this in October. It is Small Spaces by Katherine Arden. I don't know a single damn thing about this book. Looks like there's some scarecrows though. I've heard it's scary, which for a middle grade, I'm skeptical, but I guess we will see. This is also the Barnes and Noble exclusive edition, which they would like to tell me, but they would not like to allow me to take the sticker off without having to get out the Gugon. Last middle grade I have is The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. I'm so excited to read this one. I've heard literally nothing but good things about it. Next up. I'm going to talk about these two books that I don't exactly know where to place in this. First, we have some plays by Aristophanes. This was for my Greek literature class this previous semester, and I literally just read a single play out of it. Not a lot to say. It was okay, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. But I do like the fact that this is another Penguin Classics with the black spine because I have a couple other of these. And they're just satisfying to look at on your shelf. Then this next book I'm really excited for. I have Dandelion Wine by Ray Bradbury. I've read a couple other Ray Bradbury books. I've read Fahrenheit 451, obviously gotta read it, and The October Country, which was one of my favorite books of last year. It's like a book of short stories that are just like creepy and weird and I really loved all of them. So I saw this in half price books and I think this edition is so cute so I decided to pick it up. It's so like I don't know it's just so compact and tiny and the cover is pretty. You got Ray Bradbury back here holding this cute little black cat which I just thought was funny. I love author photos on the back of books like it's one of my favorite things. And there's a couple other I kind of want to get the Martian Chronicles and the Illustrated Man in this like edition. I just think they look really nice on my shelf together. So then we're kind of moving on into horror. This isn't, well, this one's not really horror. This is just Death Note volume three, the black edition volume three. I love the black editions of these. So this is a bind up of the fifth and sixth volume of the normal manga, but with the black spray pages and the, it has like a really nice, like soft feeling cover. And I love this manga series. I loved the anime. Plus, Elle is on this one, who is my favorite character. If he is not your favorite character, reevaluate. Next up, we have what I think is my favorite book in this haul, just because it's so damn cool looking. This is Masterpieces of Terror and the Supernatural, which is a horror anthology by Marvin Kaye. I mean, just look at this shit. It's, the art style is so cool. We have the back. My favorite part is the spine. It's like this ghost dancing with a skeleton type deal. I don't know. This like really sketchy kind of messy art style is one of my favorite things ever. This book is really cool. It's got a bunch of short stories that are horror stories. It's got Bram Stoker, Lovecraft, Mary Shelley. There's also a short story from Tolkien in here, which I've never envisioned him like writing a horror story but i could see it being really good and i'm excited to read it 
Okay, so last up we have three Stephen King books and I just have to bring up my earrings. I made these tiny Salem's Lot earrings the other day and I'm obsessed. I love them. I unfortunately do not have this edition of Salem's Lot to show to you today, but one day I will own it in full size. First up we have Dr. Sleep and I think the cover for this book is really cool. Like it's really simplistic with just the smoky text. And in the back, we have Red Rum written on, oh, this must be the bathroom from The Shining. Gonna be honest, The Shining is not one of my favorite Stephen King books that I've read. It's probably my least favorite. It's not bad. I just think all of his other ones are better. Like, I don't know. And it's not even that I like the movie better because the movie left out so much. I just, the Shining took me so long to get through and it was interesting and the concept is really cool but like the book it's just not my favorite thing personally so but I am excited to read this little continuation so then the next or last two books I have are two of the book club editions now I love the book club editions I know they're not like super highly valued but I just really like the size of them and I think they look really cool first up we have Kujo which I just think the cover is so cool. Got the typical 80s author photo on the back. Had to do it. First I was hesitant about picking up Cujo because I have seen the movie and you know I'm, I'm pretty neutral on the movie. I'm pretty neutral on, on like all of the like 80s and 90s adaptations of his books. They're not the best but I have heard that the book ends differently than the movie so I'm very interested to see how the book ends because the movie is kind of like a like a happier ending like everyone's okay so i'm interested to see who dies basically and then the last book i have is the book that i'm currently reading this is firestarter and i love this edition so much i just think it's so cool and this dust jacket is in really good condition got charlie on the cover just flaming it flaming it no and i'm currently like two-thirds of the way through it and i'm really enjoying it so that is the haul i really hope you guys enjoyed if you did like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And I will see you in my next video.